This is a follow-on video that I promised to explain the difference between uh, grid north and the magnetic north. You need to understand this when you're uh, navigating using a compass and a paper map. At the bottom, okay, so this is one of the USGS quadrangle maps. This one is McGahee'sville, 1999, the one I used for, to, for the hike. And these vertical lines here are the grid line. These are, this is grid north, okay? These vertical lines are, are grid north. Now, what does that mean? Well, <clears throat> when you have a paper map, you've actually got three norths that you have to be uh, knowledgeable, knowledgeable about. The fur and the, in the lower left hand corner of each map you'll find this diagram. It doesn't, it doesn't include this line. I drew this line in. You'll see why in a minute. But you've got these three lines drawn here. This one here with the arrowhead on it, that is magnetic north, MN. This li line here with the star representing Polaris is true north. And this line here that says GN is grid north. Okay, now let's look back over here on the map. Now you'll notice the only lines on the map are grid north. So where is true north and where is magnetic north? Well, that's what this diagram shows you. So those vertical lines that you see on your map is grid north right here. Now magnetic north in this particular case is just a little bit to the west of grid north. And what this is telling you is, or looking at it another way, let's say this is true north, which is let's say perfectly vertical on the maps. Grid north it, in this map is to the east by one degree and 26 minutes. Okay, so on this map grid north is slightly to the east of true north. But look at magnetic north. Magnetic north is 9 degrees and 27 minutes to the west of true north. <clears throat> so because grid north is to the east of true north and magnetic north is to the west that means you have to add these two angles together to get the difference between grid north and magnetic north in this diagram is equal to 1 degree 26 minutes plus 9 degrees 27 minutes. So here's 9 degrees 27 minutes plus 1 degree 26 minutes. You add the minutes up, that's 53 minutes you add the degrees up, so you've got 10 degrees and 58 minutes, which is approximately 11 degrees because there's 60 minutes in a degree. So let's just call this 11 degrees. So there is an 11 degree angle between grid north and magnetic north. And what that means when you're using these maps, here's grid north, Magnetic north is going to be pointing 11 degrees to the west, like this. Now, let's say you have an object out here. Let's say, let's say you're standing here, okay, at two mile run overlook, and you're looking out here on the horizon and you see a mountain peak over here, okay? Now, the on the map, if you measure that angle, you're going to be measuring the angle from here over to grid north because grid north is your reference lines. Okay, so when you see something out, if you're standing here and you see something out here over here in the, in the distance and you draw a line, you're going to be measuring the angle to grid north right here excuse me, to right, to right here, one of, these, one of these vertical lines here. <clears throat> okay.
okay? But my compass is going to be measuring this, this bigger angle all the way over here to magnetic north. So on this map, whatever angle I'm, I measure on my map, that's a grid, grid angle. I have to add 11 degrees to that so that I'm actually getting the angle that my compass is going to read, which is way over here. Okay? So on this map, if I'm going to go from grid north to magnetic north, I have to add 11 degrees to my grid angle. If I'm going from magnetic to grid, I have to subtract 11. Okay, well on the map, I'm going from grid to magnetic, so I have to add 11 degrees. So let's come back over here to the map. I'm standing here at to my run over look, and I look out here and I see this, this peak, Rocky Mount Peak. I draw a line from there back to where I'm standing here at the overlook, and then I have to measure this angle. Now you can measure that using a protractor. I used a modified type of protractor called a coarse, coarse plotter. But just a regular protractor will work. But you have to measure the angle from of this line relative to one of these grid lines. Okay? Well now if you look at if you look at that you'll notice it's leaning slightly to the west compared to these. Alright? So anyway, when you measure this angle, what you'll find out is it's got, an, it's, it's got a bearing of 358 degrees. Okay, now that's a grid measurement. So in other words, it's leaning two degrees to the west. This, this line of sight is two degrees west of grid north. So here's my 358 degrees I have to add my 11 degrees to get me to magnetic, so that gives me 369 degrees. There's 360 degrees uh, to, a, to a complete revolution around the compass, so that's the same thing as 009 degrees magnetic. So that's my answer. Zero bearing, magnetic bearing is 009. So when I'm standing here at the overlook, if I get my compass out and I dial it up to 009 magnetic, it will be pointing straight at Rocky Mount Summit. So that's why in my videos you'll see that I have always, I always draw this figure because I, I'm never printing the entire map. I'm just printing a, a piece of the map that I'm going to be using. So that's why I drew this. This is, this is my grid north, and this is my magnetic north pointing to the west, and there's 11 degrees between them. Now, so this video doesn't get too long. I'm just covering this one case for this map. Sometimes magnetic north is actually pointing over here, in, in certain other areas of the country, magnetic north can be pointing over here. Now if that's the case, instead of adding, I would have to subtract the angle. Okay, and you also have to take a look at this diagram to see if, if magnetic north and grid north are on opposite sides of this true north, then you have to, uh, you have to add them together. But if they're on the same side, then you have to subtract the angles. Because you always need to know this diagram gives the angles from here to true north and from grid north to true north. But you need the angle from grid north to magnetic. So you have to study this diagram to figure out how to calculate the angle from GN over here to MN. And I tried this out, I didn't show it in the video, but when I was standing here at the overlook, I dialed my compass up to 009, and it was pointing straight out here to Rocky Mount Summit. So hopefully that explains how you go from grid north to magnetic north, 
And that's why on my maps you'll always see this, that I've drawn this diagram on there so I know what's going on. But here's what it actually looks like at the bottom of the, uh, at the, bottom of the map. Okay, so I hope that helps.